Hi everyone, welcome to the third challenge in Organizational Skills Week and happy Shout Out Wednesday. My friend Michelle inspired and created this challenge. She is truly one of the most organized people that I know. I'm always blown away because she always looks so put together and I truly don't think that she has a cluttered place in her life. Her car, her room, her closet, they all look fantastic, and everything seems to be organized, and I definitely admire this about her. She inspired me to remove more clutter and to simplify these last few years, so I think that that is so important, and I thank her for that. Life can be so, so crazy. Have you ever said any of these statements? I need to remember to do that. I hope I don't forget to do that. What was that thing I needed to do? Oh, crap, I forgot to do that. I cannot believe I didn't get that done today. I know that I've said them. And I believe that there is a solution to help everyone remember to do everything that they need to do. And I think that Michelle's challenge says it all. The challenge by Michelle is to spend 10 minutes to create a checklist for the next day. She mentioned that this is especially helpful if you've had a hectic day at work or maybe you're just running around. She thinks that taking 10 to 15 minutes in a quiet place to organize your thoughts can really, really help. She did this on Friday and she felt so much less anxious going into the next week because she had that checklist to focus on. Personally, I think things are extremely hard to remember. And if I don't have my checklist, I think that I would go crazy. I like to use my Google Calendar for time slots, but I also have different checklists. And I'm going to make one today for tomorrow. Going back to time management week, there was a challenge around writing down everything that you do throughout the day and how you spend your time. But this time, we're more, more focused on taking control of our time. You can write down everything that needs to be accomplished and check them off as you go. I don't know if it's just me, but I feel a serious sense of accomplishment when I cross something off or put a check mark next to it because it means that it's completed and out of my head. Maybe a get the same feeling. Have a great day sending positive vibes your way from the Purposeful Challenger.